don't be anxious about anything. Is anybody anxious this morning? Anybody worried about something this morning? But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You know what's interesting about this? That it says to present our requests to the Lord through prayer and petition. But not just with prayer and petition. It says with thanksgiving. Why thanksgiving? Because you're already thanking him for what he's going to do. Amen? And I don't know how your situation looks like. Everybody's fighting for toilet paper. Listen to me. You've survived much greater things. Come on, somebody. We have some people that have survived overdoses. We have people that have survived drug addiction, really abusive relationships. You survived. You are victorious in Christ. Amen. You're a child of the Lord. Don't forget who you are in the midst of this craziness. Don't forget who you are. Amen. Know that God is taking care of all of our needs. And with prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, amen, thanking him already for what is to come, amen, we're going to see the power of God, amen, and the peace that surpasses all understanding. When people tell you, why aren't you panicking, why aren't you freaking out, amen, you're, you're going to be able to tell them, no, I have Christ on my side, amen, amen, amen. I'm going to ask the ushers at this place to take, to, or at this moment to take their place, and listen, you're able to give your tithes and your offering. You're able to give your pledge through an envelope. We have Easy Tide. We have our text to give. And we also have our Clover reader, um, card reader in the back. And you're able to give that way. And we're going to say, Lord, we're going to trust you. We're not going to look at anything else. Do you know that the people of God prospered in times of famine? The people of God were victorious in times of tribulation. I mean, they were even fruitful in the desert. In the desert. You know, today you and I may be going through a desert where it seems like, oh my God, there's no, not much of everything because we're used to so much. We're used to the abundance of this land. But let me tell you that if you're a child of God, you have the blood of Jesus over you and everything must come past you, amen. No weapon formed against you will prosper, amen. In Jesus' name, so your household, plead the blood of Jesus over it, over your children. Now is not the time to mess around with sin. Now is not the time to be half-stepping with the Lord. Come on, you know, tomorrow is not promised, and we want to make sure that we're right before the Lord. Amen? Amen. So this morning, I'm going to ask you to lift up your hand if you would like a, an envelope. And also, if you're going to give on easy time, now is your time to pull out your phone. If you want to go ahead and give in the back, you can do that. Amen? And I'm going to have the worship team play this morning. Also, just shout out to the beautiful Chanel. It is her birthday today. We love you so much. We are grateful for you in this church. Amen. Happy, happy birthday. from a powerful whole week um, women's convention. Now I want to call Sister Maria. I know she's in the back, but once you're done, if you can make your way up. Sister Ceci, both of them, it was their first time going to a women's convention. And I want them to come and testify about the goodness of the Lord. And then I'm going to call up two of our leaders. I'm going to call up Sister Angelina and Sister Beatrice to come and share what the Lord spoke over there at convention. Amen. Um, well, I just want to say two things. I know it's not Pastor Julio. He said, one night you asked me if I was going. I said, yes, and you told me, oh my God, you just made my night. That made me really happy and gave me like more of it. Um, like, I just wanted to go. So I kept praying to God, if you want me to go, you will give, you will give me the money. You will, uh, um, you will, you will, you will send me like, the, uh, for me to go. And he did. And after like, and throughout the week, I 
kept hearing, now is the time. Yeah. Now is the time for yeah. game girls where they bring us to the department. And yeah, it's like every time I would hear all the speakers, and for me, the one that would like help like talk more to me was Sister Georgina. So on Friday, like I just felt that night was the most powerful. And it just told me, it's like, if you don't do something, if you just sit there, <laughs> nothing's gonna get done. It's like right now, our game is like, we have a lot of girls out there that aren't getting saved, that aren't like getting um, saved. It's like, so if I just lay here and not do nothing, we have a game, like our game girl leader. She has so much on her plate. It's like in this whole week when I would see her, I'd be like, oh my God, I just can't, like, I just need to like back her up. If I don't do it, who, who's gonna do it? Like, I just, I just so thankful for my game girl leader and for my, um, for Brother Lewis, because if it's not for them, this isn't gonna get done. So like, if we don't back them up, nothing's gonna get done. And it's like, I see them the most, and I'm just like, wow, I can't just sit here and have nothing not get done. Thank you. Oh, the burden for the call, that's awesome. Sister Maria, I have led you. I just want to thank God for my salvation and for my family. And you know what? I went to, when we got there, I was like, I had this feeling like, oh my God, I'm going to be late and like do crazy stuff. Or stuff I shouldn't be doing. <laughs> and then I felt like the first night I was like, my heart felt closed. I, I, I didn't feel like I was receiving. And, um, you know, Sister Melissa was praying for me. She told me she was. And I prayed, and I was like, Lord, don't let me be hardened. Um, and I heard, I heard a message, and she was talking about, one of the sisters was talking about um, God was walking, and um, he seen a fig tree, because he was hungry, he wanted to eat. And he went to the fig tree, he seen the, the leaves, and I guess apparently the figs grow when, when there's leaves. And so he thought maybe there would be fruit there. And the tree was barren. And I'm like, Lord, don't let that be me. I'm like, oh my God, is that me? I'm barren, I'm dead inside. I look good, you know, like the little pot of flower. It looks good on the outside, but on the inside, I'm dead. I'm dead, and when those storms come, you'll see me all over the place. I'm just back and forth. All of the place, a hot mess. And I, I realized, that's me, I'm dead inside. And oh my God, the, the Lord just, man, inspired me this week. I was just... Man, I just have a hunger and a desire. I just want to grow. Yeah. 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 Man, it was powerful. Powerful and I'm blessed. Thank you, God. You know, I don't know about you, but Maria is one of the ones that I saw from the beginning. I'm like, man, you have to see yourself in God's eyes. She's going to be a future women's leader, ministry leader. I can see it already, and I'm so grateful that you said yes and went. And you too, Ceci, I'm so excited for you guys. And now we want to hear from two of our leaders. Amen. God bless you. Amen. That's my sister. <laughs> and that's a blessing to hear her say all those things. You, you know, you know your family better than anybody. And what she says is true. <laughs> what, she, what she says that she is dead inside and when the things of this world hit her, like, she, yeah, she is all over the place. Uh, but one thing I do know is that my, my sister is strong and, and it was a blessing to be up there with her. Um, just to see her, like, I'm like, she put a little notebook down. I was like, all right, go ahead and preach, girl. <laughs> um, so I'm blessed this morning. I was blessed going up there and being with her and being with my sisters and the Lord. Um, and they talked about some of the things that, that was like echoed throughout each service was faith, faith, faith. And, and it just reminded me of pastors preaching faith, faith, faith. And, um, you know, a lot of you guys know me and, you know, you know, you know, my testimony uh, some of you, the majority of you know that I rode a bike for years, caught the bus, you know. <laughs> Sister D has picked me up early in the morning to take me to work for a few months, and, and um, you know, I got blessed. I, I was waiting for some money, and I got my, that money, and I was blessed to go. I got a car, and yeah. I'm just, I'm really blessed. But it talks about faith, and those are the type of things that, that bring faith. And it's our testimony to others that bring faith. We are the, the, the Bible lived out. We are God lived out. So when people see us and they hear about the Christians and, and the men and women of God, that's us. Amen. And, and it talked about keeping a good testimony. Amen. Keeping a good report. And, um, and seeing the church and, and seeing the church grow. Um, there was only a handful of us when Pastor and Sister Melissa took over the church. 
I want to say there's like 12 of us, like I said. 12, 15, somewhere right there. You know, and, and that would even fluctuate, but to see the church where it is now, man, that, that encourages my faith. That man, that, that even though we were low, God, God uplifts, amen? And um, I pray your, your faith is built here in the house. Um, our pastors, they are awesome pastors. They're faith-believing pastors, and I, and I pray that we get behind them and back them up and, and whatever um, the Lord is leading them to do here in the house, amen? Uh, and that, I just wanted to share that. Wow. This week was a powerful week. And I have to agree that it all coincided with what Pastor Julio has been preaching about. But what stood out to me was digging the well of our forefathers, you know, and, and, and filling up the ark but what, and, and, and vision. They kept, they kept implement, implementing vision. And, and, and what was that vision? What caught my attention, and then I think it's always going to catch my attention until the day I die, is that God put in my heart, and he, like my eyes opened up. I have third waivers living in my home. The devil tried to come in and destroy what God, God already said. My son is serving the Lord, and God tried to, the devil tried to come in to destroy my son. He's a third waiver, and my daughter, Michaela, is a third waiver. And there, I, you know what I said? You know what, God? I give them to you. Sister Roseanne was talking about that she has given, she gave her children and her husband over to the vision. God, you could have them you could have my life you could have my marriage and you know what that's what I say too God can have my life he can have my marriage and he can have my children you know take it for the vision for the cause for the cause to to grow the kingdom of God and you know what and I'm not gonna stop fighting I'm gonna keep praying and I'm gonna pick up my shovel or my hammer whatever I need to pick up to, to build the ark to, to fill this house and we're gonna end up having to move out of this house to get a bigger house yeah. for the lost souls. Yeah. They talk about don't waste our time. You know, the, God, he's coming back soon. The second coming, is he, he's coming back very soon. Don't mess with sin. Prayerlessness, pray, because they, they were talking about prayerlessness is a sin. We got to pray. They talked about fasting, just like Pastor Julio was preaching about. Prayer and fasting and miracles, the same power that resurrected Jesus Christ from the dead lives in us. So we have to remember that. And we have to believe that. If you have a belief, you know what? I rebuke that. You have to believe that that power that lives inside you. But you know what? You're not going to be powerful unless you pray and you seek God's word and you make your root. This is our root. This is our home. And we got to beautify our home. But Again, I'm going to continue to fight for the third way. God is raising them up. You know, even even he said, he, you know, Sister Georgina was preaching about that even our daughters were included. Yeah. Our daughters will prophesy. Our daughters are going to preach. And, and you know what? We have third, little third waivers in the back. And, and if you don't have a heart for those little children, and then you know what? And, and then I pray that the Lord could your heart we got to start praying because we have this house is full of third waivers the home has third waivers and we need to pray that God raises them up so, and we, so we can start shooting them out pastor and sister Melissa start sending them out you know so anyways I better give the microphone back to sister Melissa God bless everybody amen it's a powerful thing amen the women are walking in victory this morning I pray you have a great great day today amen God bless you as we, um, oh, I'm sorry? Oh, we didn't pass the baskets. I'm so sorry. Let's pass the baskets at this time. You can get ready to give. Amen. What a great cause we have. Amen. Got excited for a minute. We'll talk to God too. That's why.
Praise God this morning. Amen. Powerful testimonies. Yes. Third wave. I feel the burden. Yes. So this morning, this day, man, we'd like to welcome everybody, friends and family. Today is a special day, and we'd really like to just, you know, welcome you because today is that day where we can, where we celebrate the graduation of those who have been here taking classes at VOBE Academy. This will be our first graduation at VOBE Academy. We have three classes that we're going, so how did they get to level three, Brother Lewis? Well, here's how. We are an extension of uh, Foundations of Faith. So as you see the Foundation of Faith banners, that's who we are, but VOBE Academy is, is something that is evolving, amen? Something that is helping our church something that is creating a discipleship flow within the church of God where people can say, hey, I'm learning. Hey, I'm growing. Then when people ask me about my faith, my belief, you know, about baptism, those kind of things, man, that is where we, where, what we begin to, now because we're taking classes, we can explain it to our friends. We can explain it to our family members. Amen? So without further ado, I'm going to call our teachers up, Brother George. As Foundations of Faith, I'm going to call up Brother Sethel with Discipleship and Brother Chad as our Leadership Development Teacher. We're going to stand right back here. And we're going to get ready to do it is we're going to get ready to call our graduates up this morning. Amen. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and call up Brother George. Is he welcome? Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Pastor, please, if you can come up. We're going to have you stand here, please. Amen. How many know that our pastor is the, 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 the pastor of the house or senior pastor? And as the graduates come out, how many know it's an honor to, you know, that the man of God is, is, is and the woman of God is, is, is um, shaking the hands of our graduates. Amen. Amen. So without further ado, Brother George. Amen. Good morning, church. God bless everybody. Man, it was uh, my privilege uh, to uh, go ahead and take part in this and then we're doing the first class, Foundations of Faith, and man, we had a, 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 a great big group of people who were out there who had questions, who wanted to know, who wanted to grow, and, and that's what it's about, uh, be, putting ourselves in a place where we could be discipled, where we could grow, so as we grow in the Lord, man, you know, we got a firm foundation under us, man, we're, uh, you know, as we're grounded in the Word of God, no matter when them storms come to Maria, they ain't gonna shake you no more. You ain't gonna be tossed to the fro. You ain't gonna be firm, amen? amen. <laughs> Just real quick, I know Brother Lewis mentioned it. Uh, as, as I call your names, if you could come up on this side and uh, hand your certificate, then you go with uh, Pastor Hunas to Melissa, yeah. and uh, we'll get a picture with, with them, and then I, ha I will have you line up over in the front. Amen. Yeah. Uh, uh, call Brother Tony Hernandez. <laughs> Brother Anthony Gutierrez. Brother Anthony Martinez. Brother Tony Hernandez. Cecilia Martinez. <laughs> Sister Esperanza Vaca. Brother 
Brother Mike de la Roca. Brother Alvaro Vieira. Sister Sarah Gonzalez. You know, I just want one second. You know, I usually don't do this, but I want to highlight on him, Carlos. You know, he's in our Christian recovery home. Let me let me tell you something. You know, we already got a miracle from George when George first came in. Where's George? He's one of our ushers. He was a space cadet. He was in Mars. He was, he, you know, and I say that jokingly, but it was serious. He would dance by himself and, and you know, and hear voices and talk to himself. He came, he came in almost worse than him. And, and, and God, look at him now. Look at him now. He was hearing voices. The only voice he hears now is the Holy Spirit. That is the power of God. I'm telling you right now. That is the power of God. Sarah, you're awesome. Brother Eric Gonzalez. <laughs> Brother Hugo Pereira. So this is our first class out of three, and I'm very proud of you guys, and I want to bless you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, continue with your education, and then now we have another set, amen? Amen. Good morning, church. Good to see everyone out there. Glad you guys all showed up for this wonderful Sunday morning service. I had the privilege and I had the honor to uh, teach uh, our second level, our discipleship class, and um, all the classes before, don't get mad at me, but this will probably be the best class I had, so, so they were really, uh, they were really engaged, we, you know, we asked a lot of questions, we talked a lot about a lot of concepts, um, real growth, 
and real learning took place. And so, you know, I had a blast doing it. And so first, I'm going to call up this brother, Brother Bill Day. Bill Day, always with a smile on his face. How many know that it wasn't always this way, but in the church now we have power couples, power marriages. And so along with Bill Day comes Sister Patty Day, who's graduating. Patty Day. Love Sister Patty, always a blessing. Next, I want to call my brother who was, you know, who he, he, and all, honestly, he could probably teach the class himself, but he was always ready to learn. So I, if I could have Brother Wes Garcia make his way up. He is graduating this morning. A Texan, cowboy fan. Don't hold it against him. Saying goes behind every good man is a good woman, so his wife Angelina Garcia is also graduating with us this morning. If I could have the Mr. Space Cadet, I mean George Sendejas, make his way up. He is graduating this morning. You know, in, in every school, in every classroom, there's a, there's a class clown, so to speak. And Mr. George definitely took that pride. Yeah, he's back on earth now. His feet are grounded, he's landed. goes to the academy together, stays together. Yes. So bring your family, bring your children, everyone's invited. We also have Brian Sellis. He will be graduating. Definitely the quietest student I've ever had, but always learning, always looking sharp. Being a good role model for his family. Love Brian. And then last but certainly not least, an inspiration to us all. If I have Brother David Enon make his way up. He is graduating level two. So I, I, you know, I'll vouch for them, Pastor Julio, Sister Melissa. These are good people that you can work with. I'm ready to take the next level. On the chat. teaching uh, leader, leadership development, amen. And uh, man, my class, they, they, you would consider them the pioneers. You know, when I came here from Los Angeles, they were here and and uh, Pastor, thank you for entrusting me with the class. And uh, man, I'm, uh, it's, just, it's just a blessing to be able to, um, to impart into uh, 
and to the students and then for them to give us feedback and uh, and you know how many know that Victor Outreach Pictures Feliz is going to another level amen and so uh, the first person I want to call up I'm really proud of this my, my, my brother he came up uh, from Eagle Rock with me and that's our men's home director Alejandro Galindo He's our uh, our second men's home graduate out of Victory Outreach Pickers Feliz. I'm really proud of him. He never quits. He never gets up. And, and, and uh, God has a big plan for his life. Let's give it up for Jacob Pope. Yeah. Israel, come on, somebody. very special to my heart she puts up with my crazy driving come on somebody and today is her birthday sister Connie come on somebody grandma Connie home or maybe a D home coming up in the future that sister Haley Castaneda come on somebody <laughs> praise God and the next sister uh, me and her we, we, we kind of have a weird relationship but uh, you know, we work, we serve well together, and I respect her, she respects me, and she's our worship leader. Come on, somebody, Beatrice Estrada. graduating from our men's recovery home this year uh, really proud of this brother uh, let's give it up for brother Sean Brophy come on somebody man look at that smile come on now Woo! look what the Lord has done God. And the next sister I want to call up, man, we, we've, we've been able to see her come such a far away. She's really taken a hold of leadership, and uh, she's a blessing to the church. And that's Sister Deanna Velasquez. do one big group picture so we can have all the classes come to the middle. We're going to do a good, you can have somebody on the steps. A row, two rows on the bottom, amen.
Congratulations to our class of 2020, VOBE Academy. Hallelujah. You can take your seats this morning.